K. Tonight we are hearing from the family of a woman who was shot and killed while her three children were sleeping. Nicole Kurtz died at just 29 years old and now her loved ones are trying to keep the children together. Our Mitty Hicks has more from the family. I think I can give those kids a good life. Eric Baldwin is used to a home filled with children and now he has two more that aren't biologically his. And with everything that's going on, they need uh, some sort of normalcy. He wants to give his daughter's siblings a life they deserve after their mom was tragically killed at home while all three children were sleeping. Almost like a nightmare that didn't happen. The suspect is Clifford Seraphine, the victim's boyfriend who she shared her last two children with. While the younger two don't understand what's happening, he says the eight-year-old is taking it the hardest. I don't even think even uh, the, the three-year-old really understands because she asked about uh, going home yesterday. So Brindley cries a lot and wants to be left alone. Baldwin says splitting up the kids is not an option. The victim's friends and family agree. So they're raising money on GoFundMe to help give the children a proper home. I'm trying to make it like legal as possible so they can stay here. Because currently there's six kids in three bedrooms. The money he raises will help change the garage around, which are guidelines from Child Protective Services. Junior, the boy, he absolutely, the CPS woman said that he absolutely needs a bedroom, which makes sense, he's a boy. And uh, I was gonna convert this garage, get rid of the doors. Um, there's already two windows here, mm -hmm. so we could split these up in at least two bedrooms. He's hoping a new home can mend the now broken pieces of these young hearts who lost their mother too soon. Um, I think the kids would, they'll be, they're in good hands here. And the community is rallying behind this family. Culver's in North Ridgeville will donate a portion of all sales. We'll have that information and the link to the GoFundMe page on our website, wkyc.com, Kaitor. All right, Mitty, thank you very much.